guys welcome back so today i decided to do this makeup look i guess we can say this is a new year's or new year's eve look i decided hey i want to try something dark on my eyes and something kind of toned down on the lips i was originally going to use a victory red by besame cosmetics which is one of my favorite reds right now but i opted out and instead i'm using bow and arrow by kat von d so if you guys would like to learn how to get this look then keep on watching all right guys so today i'm doing something a little bit different i'm actually talking and not doing a voiceover i figured out this is the best way to do it so i don't have to edit so much out so i'm actually just priming my face i took the cool the kula I guess you can say, yeah, the Kula Mineral Sunscreen Cucumber Matte Finish. I've been using this as a primer and I absolutely love it. I am going to prime my lids because we are finishing up the shadow. So I just took the Essence Primer and I'm priming my eyelid. So I have really bad under eye circles. Taking the melt stack, I think this is the, not too sure, the gunmetal stack. I am taking a simulate and blending this on my crease. So now I'm taking this um, semi-sweet chocolate bar palette by Too Faced and I'm taking peanut butter and truffle and I'm blending these in the crease. I love these two colors so much. With that same brush that I applied a simulate on my crease, I'm doing the same exact thing. So with a clean brush, mine's not so clean because I had to do this eye, obviously. I'm taking Licorice from the Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette and um, applying this on the outer V of my crease. Now with my concealer, I am going to, I guess, cut the crease. It's going to be a tiny little crease. Not so much of a crease. I'm going to apply this here because I'm going to apply glitter so I want it to pop. With that brush that we previously used, I'm taking whatever is left and just blending it in. That way it doesn't look like we just put the concealer there. Now, for the fun part, I am taking um, Harsh Stone White from that same um, gunmetal stack and applying this on the center of my lid with a brush. And then I'm just going to take off any excess glitter that has fallen there. Now with this color called Industrial, which is a, I want to say like a silvery metal color, I'm going to do the same exact thing. Now with a liquid liner, I am applying my cat eye. If you guys would like an eyeliner tutorial, I know there's an endless amount of eyebrow, I mean eyeliner tutorials, 
But if you guys would like one, please let me know and I'd be more than happy to film it for you. Um, I know this side looks kind of like stained, I guess we can say. So after I applied the eyeliner, I'm going to take a little more of the black on my outer V. And then with the brush, with the flat brush, I'm going to apply that black on my waterline. I'm going to apply my mascara, which is my favorite, the Better Than Sex. So I applied my false lashes and I believe one's like little, but I'll fix it later. Anyways, I've applied mascara underneath my lower lashes as well. So now I am getting started with the face. With my Real Techniques um, blending, uh, blending sponge, I am taking the Born This Way foundation, applying this all over my face. Now I'm going to seal this out. I'm going to seal this concealer with this translucent powder by e.l.f. I just need a little bit of contour, I don't do nothing that big. So after I finish that, I'm going to apply a blush, and I am using one of my favorite blush, and it's called Flush. It's such a gorgeous, like, um, apricot color, so it looks beautiful. Now for highlighter, I am using the color Starlight. It is such a beautiful color, and I left my Hydro Prime over there. This is what I use to seal my face, and oh my god, it feels beautiful. <laughs> So I'm applying this highlight, just a tad bit in the nose. You don't want to look too shiny. I'm going to apply like an inner corner highlight. And I'm using this Kat Von D pigment. And the color Thunderstruck. It's like this white frosty. Alright love, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and happy new year. May this upcoming year um, be filled with many blessings to you and your family. And remember that I love you and I will see you guys next time. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Oh no no.